So there is now a three day snow emergency in Minneapolis and it begins at nine o'clock tonight. That means no parking on snow emergency routes overnight. And for those of you that still need to leave the house, you got to give yourself extra time in all of this. Our Renee Cooper joins us live from Minneapolis with a message that city leaders have for those who are planning to head out this evening, Renee. Yeah, Minneapolis drivers still have a few hours to get cars cleared off of emergency plow routes like this one I'm standing on right now. 9 p.m. is that cutoff tonight before ticketing and towing begins to kick in as just as this wind is is really kicking in tonight. It, now, Public Works says people are really taking advantage of those free alternative parking spots that the city set aside. And as for those essential workers who still have to get where they're going, Metro Transit says leave that transportation to the professionals. As the free parking ramps fill up. So to my knowledge, this is the first time in the form that we see it right now that we've done this. Joe Pullman says Minneapolis Public Works is confident there will be enough spots for those who still need to move their cars. Public Works is regularly driving through these lots, monitoring capacity. Um, it's a little bit of a walk for me, but it's going to be worth it. For one, because I don't want to uh, dig my car out, but for two, just because I want the streets to be empty so the snow plows can come through. One driver's words, music to Palman's ears. We're pleased to see that. I hope they do it more often. For others in the metro. Hey, you got to suit it and boot it. Got to pay bills. Staying off these roads is just not an option. I take the train or the city bus. When the heaviest snow hits, the light rail still rolls through. Not expecting right now to be in a position where we have to cancel service. We might see, you know, trips here and there that may have to be canceled. They'll run <laughs> just like they do every day. As electromechanical technician Josh Stewart shows us, Metro Transit trains are built for snow. So your snow plow is just this guy. I haven't heard of any times yet where these have not been able to clear its own way. And ice. This is our ice cutter pantograph, which comes up and minimizes or eliminates any ice buildup on the overhead. To keep the train powered and moving. They just flip the breaker on and you can hear it hit the overhead. One of many decisions made upstairs by light rail supervisors like Jim Clancy. Yeah, it'll be a long day. We're running pretty well. And so we're just going to kind of monitor things as they go and we'll uh, take it from there. The city says it still may call a second snow emergency to go back over these roads another time. If they do, that'll likely start on Friday night. That's immediately after this emergency expires. And Public Works tells me the roads should be safe for your Monday morning commute. That said, they say we're going to be digging out of this storm in some fashion for a couple of weeks to come. Live in Minneapolis, Renee Cooper, 5 Eyewitness News.